times people are like, well, if I do an overnight fast or if I do a 24 hour fast, I'm just going to end up binging when I do break my fast. And people who have been fasters for a long time know that this isn't true. I see this in myself all the time. I, I usually break my fast with pumpkin seeds. I just love them. They're high fiber, they're higher fat, they have protein in them. So they don't do much to my blood sugar. And I just like to break my fast with them. What I usually uh, break my fast with. Um, but if you're eating real whole foods and then maybe I'll eat a salad or I'll eat eggs after that, and I'll eat some cottage cheese with maybe some berries. Like I'm not going to overeat when I'm eating real food. It's when you eat processed foods that don't have the nourishment in them, because remember your body perceives threats. And if it's done a 24 hour or 36 hour fast, and now you're eating crap, that's not nourishing the body. You're not eating enough protein to make hormones. You're not eating enough protein to make neurotransmitters. You're not eating enough protein to rebuild the tissue that you broke down and, and wiped out the yucky stuff in the autophagy process during your fast. But now you're not eating any protein with your meals. You're just eating garbage, you know, crappy carbs. That's a problem too, because now your body's is perceiving a threat because it's undernourished. So you might, you know, that's when people tr run into trouble with binging coming off their fast when they're not eating the correct foods or they're eating a lot of ultra processed foods. And of course that's going to happen. And that's going to be, that's going to happen whether or not you're coming off a fast or if you're, you know, eating your second or third meal of the day, it's like your blood sugar goes wonky. Your body doesn't perceive nutrients or nourishment. And so it's just going to keep those cravings going.